X of Kolkata sends out goods costing 80,000 to Y of Mumbai so as to show a 20% profit on invoice value. 20% profit on invoice value. Three-fifth of the goods received by the consignee is sold at 5% above invoice price. The amount of sales value would be A. 63,000 B. 60,000 C. 5400 and D. 40,000 Let us see, how do we go about this? The cost of the goods is 80,000. Okay. But the invoice price, the price at which it is being sent is as so as to show 20% profit on invoice value. Suppose invoice price is 100. Profit is 20% of invoice, so therefore it's 20. Therefore, the cost is actually 80. So, this is the relation invoice price, profit, and cost. So, what is the relation of profit to cost? 20 by 80 or 1 by 4 of cost. 20 by 100, 20% of invoice and one-fourth of cost or 25% of cost. Now, three-fifth of the goods received by the consignee is sold at 5% above the invoice price. Let us first find out then what is the invoice price. Cost of goods, 80,000. Profit or invoice loading, I would say loading, one-fourth of cost, that is one-fourth of 80,000, 20,000. So, one lakh is the invoice price of the goods. Three-fifth of the goods is sold at 5% above the invoice price. So, three by five of one lakh is sold at 5%, so 105 by 100. The value therefore of this would be, if I take 3 into 1 lakh into 105 divided by 5 divided by 100 we get 63,000. So the correct answer should be 63,000. Invoice price 100, profit is 20 because profit is 20% of invoice value. Therefore, 100 minus 20, 80 must be the cost. So what is the relation of profit and cost? It is 20 by 80 or one fourth of cost, 25% of cost. Cost of goods 80,000, therefore the loading, invoice price, right? So therefore the loading is one fourth of 80,000, that is 20,000. Total invoice price must be 1 lakh. So how much is sold? Three fifth of 1 lakh is sold. At what price? At 5% above the invoice price. So into 105 by 100 or three fifth of 1 lakh. Plus 5% of 3 fifth of 1 lakh. Either way, we would get 63,000. Let us try another problem. P sent out goods costing 45,000 to Y at cost plus 33 one third percent. One tenth of the goods were lost in transit. Two third of the goods are sold at 20% above invoice price. The amount of sale value would be, so piece would be, okay, I'll give you a minute, A, 54,000, B, 43,200, C, 60,000 and D, 36,000.
cost of goods 45000 loading extra charge is one third of cost 33 one third percent is nothing but 1 by 3 so one third of 45000 would give us 15000 therefore what is the value 60000 is the invoice price of the goods one tenth of the goods is lost in transit but that is not really relevant to us because what we need is the amount of sale value two-third of the goods are sold at 20 percent above invoice two-third of sixty thousand is sold at 20 percent above invoice price so into 120 by 100 What would be the cost here? Two third of sixty thousand is forty thousand into one hundred and twenty percent equal to forty eight thousand. Uh oh, but we see forty eight thousand is not one of the options, and we have got only four options. We don't have an option which says none of the above. What could have gone wrong? If you notice, we ignored one-tenth of the goods were lost in transit, right? Now, suppose one-tenth of the goods were lost in transit and two-third of the goods received, two-third of the goods received are sold at 20% above invoice price. What would be the position? What would we do then? Then we would say invoice price 60,000. One tenth is lost, so six thousand is lost. One tenth is lost, so we have only fifty-four thousand. This fifty-four thousand is two third of fifty-four thousand is sold at a profit of twenty percent. Therefore, now if you make these computations, we see we get forty-three thousand two hundred. We have the option. Therefore, the correct answer is 43,200. So, in this case, we had to interpret the problem. But since the options were given in such a manner, we knew what assumption to take. <clears throat> Initially, when we computed, we went by the question which said that two-third of the goods are sold. We were not sure whether it was two-third of the goods sent or two-third of the goods received. When we worked out on the basis of two-third of the total goods sent, we did not get the option. Therefore, we have gone ahead and computed two-third of the goods received. Now we have got one of the options and we say option B, 43,200 is correct. Another question. Goods sent to consignment at cost plus 33 one third percent. The percentage of loading on invoice price will be. This is simple. Will be A 25 percent, B 33 one third percent, C 20 percent and D none of the above. If they say cost plus 33 one third percent then we take cost as 100. If they say 33 one third percent of invoice price, then we take invoice price as 100. So here cost is 100. Loading is 33 one third. Therefore, invoice price is 133 one third. So what is the relation? 33 one third by 100 is the one third of cost. This is the relation to cost. But we are want the percentage of loading on invoice price that is 33 one third is the profit. Invoice price is 133 one third. That is 33 one third by 133 one third is nothing but one fourth expressed as a percentage would give us 25% of invoice price. So the correct answer should be A. 25%.